Hello. We had seen in our earlier sessions as to how DC motors can be driven by an IC called L293D. This has got few input pins for one motor, three input pins and three inputs for the other. This we have explained in detail in earlier videos. We can still see them here to a certain extent that while the enable pin, this is called the enable pin and uh, these are called the logic pins. While well, the enable pin is made high and if this is in uh, one zero input, the motor rotates in this direction or in this way the motor rotates in the other direction. And similarly, for this enable being made high and this and we find the both the motors rotate in the same direction. And if you want to have PWM input at the in enable pin, then we can control the speed also. This is what we had seen earlier. However, for high power motors, now if we have a motor which is in high power, it was L293D can give only about 2 amps as far as its output function is concerned. So while we have a higher capacity current drawing motor, what we can do is we can go in for a device, a H-bridge device comprising of PNP and PN transistors. Of course, these are all Darlington pairs and certain other associated components to drive them to achieve the same function. We can see them now. The function is that we have same logic 0 and 0 here and once we put one side as logic 1, the motor rotates in this direction or if I both of them 1, it will stop and if I make this as 0 and the motor rotates in the other direction. So this is how we can have high power motor used in breeze configuration, H breeze configuration we call it for the motor to run in either direction. Thank you.